Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video is going to show you how to make basically keyboard input. So, like, let's say you press E, it will increase your walk speed or play an animation. So, let's start. So, first, in starter player and starter character scripts, you want to press the plus, then you want to insert a local script. Um, yeah, and then so first, we're gonna get to the or remove the default code, then we're gonna get the user input surface. So, we're gonna do local uis this can be anything it can be like a or yes but i'm just gonna do user input service just because it looks nicer then this will equal game get service user input service oops user input service this is a service that will get when the player um presses a key then i'm go I'm gonna show you how to make an animation so actually i'll first show how to make it do something so uis dot input begin so when the key is pressed and we're gonna make it, we're gonna connect it to a function and then we're gonna pass input so we're gonna check if this input is one of the keys that are available so if inputs not key code is equal equal or equal to enum dot key code and then whatever key you want so like space or up or e i'll do e for now you can do anything then then you type whatever you want it to do here so let's say you want um i'm gonna make a local player equals game not player to local player player dot character dot humanoid dot health equals zero so if we're making a function using the s service and we are checking if the player presses the key that we wanted to press now if we load up game it should kill us when we press e or whatever you typed it in just let the game load up real quick yeah if you couldn't tell i got a new microphone so it sounds probably clear um e as you can see then it kills us you probably heard that through the microphone you see every time we press e we get killed so now i'm going to show you how to make it play an animation so first you want to create your animation or first in replicated storage add an animation and then it's animation anything you want i'm just going to name it uh spin then um put your rig if you were doing an r6 game you would put an r6 rig i'll just do it r15 rig get your animation editor Create your animation, name it anything you want. I'm going to do spin. What I'm going to do for my animation is I'm just going to make it spin the player around. Oops. I'm going to have to get the root part. Just spin it every single time. Until it get back, gets back to the default rotation. So yeah, this is just going to take a quick second. I'm gonna keep going. Then I'm just gonna copy this ending part so it'll be exactly the same when it ends. And this is should be what the animation looks like. Or for me it's gonna look like that. Then you wanna press these three dots. You wanna press export. Export it as any name you want. Then you wanna copy this ID. Once it's copied, you wanna press close. Then you can close out this animation editor. You can delete the dummy as well. Then in spin or in whatever you named your animation and replicated storage where it says animation ID in the properties tab, you want to paste in your animation ID. Then instead of our local script, open this back up. Now we're going to get the animation. So the animation will be, oops, it'll be local animation equals, we can remove this because of here. Local animation or you can do local anim equals game dot player dot local player dot character dot humanoid load animation and then here you will locate where your animation is so for me it's game dot replicated storage dot spin because where my animation is so basically this is getting the player and then it's loading an animation into the player and because it's in replicated storage for me and it's called spin I located it there then we're gonna do anim play so when E is pressed then it'll play this animation so let's go ahead and press play and test out our animation. I'm just going to let it load real quick. Everything right. As you can see, we spin every time we press E. Kind of float because animation is kind of like that. But as you can see, we made a quick little animation. And if you want to make it so it displays that, like it says a GUI that says spinning, I guess. 
or oops, you know, add a local script. You want to go to starter GUI, you import your screen GUI or whatever you, if you have one already. Get your text label, locate where you want. Make a text. I'm just gonna say spinning scale it or do whatever you want with the text you can do anything then just make its transparency to or it's visible to false then because when we join the game uh, the screen GUI isn't going to be inside of starter GUI it's going to actually be inside of the player so we're going to have to go inside we are going to be locating the player GUI and the screen GUI so what we're going to do is we're going to make a local player equals game play a local player then we're gonna do player dot player gui dot screen gui dot text label or basically we're locating it there um, player player gui I think I'm gonna do something wrong okay, I'll have to actually check back inside of the players folder we're basically just going to be locating the player's stuff. Oh, I just noticed I just didn't finish the script and that's why it gave me an error. I just wrote something out. So we're going to go back in here. I'm going to do player dot player GUI. And then get it as we're getting it in starter GUI. So then you do screen GUI text text label dot visib visible equals true then we're gonna wait like one second and then we're gonna make it false so you can just copy that and paste it and make it false then you can press play and it should load up the game and then should have made the GUI last until the animation is done I'm not sure how long the animation actually was as you can see it says spinning yep perfect just says spinning and then when it's done spinning it'll get rid of the spinning text so I hope this video helped you and your game or anything, and yeah, bye.